wait until the morning. Funny question, Reverend. Before tonight's meeting, did you tell the council how to vote? We discussed the issue, of course. But did you tell them how to vote? Brent, this is more than a question of a dance. Did you, Reverend? I understand that this town has been filled. No, I don't think you do. If you did, you wouldn't have provoked your classmates to reel from the wounds we had already healed. But those wounds aren't healed. If they were, people wouldn't be stubbing my mom at the market, and they wouldn't be glaring me on the street. They wouldn't be boycotting my uncle's business, and you wouldn't be fixing the vote on the town council. I thought it was time to put an end to this nonsense. That nonsense? All I say is, who's up for a little dancing? And the only thing people here can think is, the Batani Bridge accident in four kids. Mr. McCormick! And I know your son was one of them. And I'm sorry. I truly am. But by honoring their memory by shutting up the world isn't working. And I'm sure you have all the answers. I don't! And you're going to set me straight. I didn't say that. How can you presume to know what I've been through? You don't have a clue. Good night, Mr. McCormick. Please, I can not Mr. McCormick, I would like to be alone. Sir, you already are. We both thought, you and me, we both thought something. And even though people say they understand, they don't really. I bet you, you stop a hundred times a day and wonder why. I do. I wondered why my dad leave. Was it something I did? Was it something I didn't do? Maybe I could have made him stay. Maybe I could have brought him back. But I can't. You know what that's like. I do. And I know I came to this town frustrated and angry. And I felt pretty good thinking of a fuss. And I know what got people on the And I'm sorry for that. But I'm just so tired of looking back. I can't stand still. I've noticed. Okay, look. I'm going to go. And I know you're going to do what you've got to do about the dance and all. Thanks for listening. Right? I'm sorry your father will never get to know you. Thanks. Daddy? Oh, I didn't hear you come down. I heard voices. That was your friend, Red. He sure asked a lot of questions. And what did you tell him? For once, I had very little to say. <laughs> I think I'm running out of answers. Daddy, I know it's hard for you, and I don't make it any easier. It's just, I don't know if I believe in all the same things you believe. But I believe in you. Get some sleep. You have a sermon.
senior class in Beaumont High School has asked permission to hold hands. Friend, I think that might be a good idea. Yeah!